Hello everybody, this is Zaxter99. We're going to go ahead and play a little bit of the new Rust again. It's been about three weeks since I've last played it, and evidently they got some whole new building uh, types in here. So we're going to go ahead and start collecting some resources here. And see how much more of this game is coming along. One thing I can see already is you remember that a few episodes ago, I don't know, a month or two ago, I was complaining about how the rock was way too fast and you was harvesting uh, resources way too quick with a rock. Now they've got it back down to a proper speed. You see I'm not busting down a rock in 10 seconds with a rock anymore. That's nice to see. It's coming along nicely. You can see how long it's taken me just to break down this one this one boulder here. That that's a lot more realistic for breaking down a big rock with a rock. I mean you don't have the proper tool, it should take you a long time. Finally, took about, I'd say, three or four minutes to break down that one uh, resource boulder with this rock. I think this is a metal one here. Yep, this is metal. You can see I'm getting more metal than stones and ore. So far, work. Able to move out of the way, hopefully. Alright, so we've got two rock nodes completely harvested. Let's go ahead and see what else we got here. Looks like I got a guy asleep over here. Naked guy like me. And it does tell you their name. That is cool. Didn't used to do that last time I played. I hear somebody else. Definitely heard somebody else. Or is that my own footsteps as I turn here? Don't know. See anybody? Need to make the sound effects sound better for whacking a dead body. It needs to sound more like breaking bones or something. Not a rock. Wow, it takes a while to kill somebody. Yeah, I'm not so sure it should take this long to to kill a sleeping guy with a rock. Still think there's somebody around me here. Don't know how close he is. There we go. Now maybe I'm actually hitting him. There we go. That sounds better. Okay, I guess I wasn't hitting him before. That's his rock. Okay, so loot corpse. E. Hit the wrong button, I think. E. No, nope, that's just my... It used to be E or F, I know, to... There, there we go, E. He has nothing else on him, okay. 
and he just kind of dropped his rock. That was kind of cool. Let's take a quick look at some of these buildings here and see what they look like compared to before. Yeah, see this looks like you got pillars and everything. This looks like the old school uh, original rust here where the, you have biller, pillars and the windows are a little bit bigger but the walls look a lot more and these foundations look a lot more like the old school rust. The legacy rust now. So we're going to have to try to now look as I was looking at something, it tells you they're 93% stable. It gives you stats on on everything. Look at a foundation, 500 out of 500. A pillar, meanwhile, only has, oh, it, it tells you 100, so it only has 100 health points. That makes sense. Let's go to the wall here. Wall, 100 out of 100. And I'm assuming that health, the wall's health, will increase as I upgrade it with stones and metal fragments as before. I'm assuming we can still upgrade our our buildings. But we'll have to try it out here. To do that I'm definitely going to need some wood. So see some more rock nodes here. I'm looking for a wood pile. So I'm not banging on trees forever. Now last time I played I did show you that harvesting trees even with a rock was a lot faster than finding a wood pile. I'm gonna guess they have that fixed by now though. We'll see. Let's take a quick look here. Yeah, I love the sound that your footstep makes on snow. That's really realistic sounding. Look at the shadows. That's really cool. Shadows from the trees. Oops, going through the tree. That's not real cool. Maybe it's just this tree. Shouldn't be able to walk through the trees like that. They got some glitching going on that they need to take care of, obviously. Okay, somebody's banging on something nearby. Where is he? I hear somebody. Don't know how far away he is. Sounds like somebody was banging on a tree or a wood pile or something. Not too far away, but I can't see him for the life of me. Now I don't know if they've got the sound effects worked out where you're, you know, where you're only hearing stuff in the vicinity of you or if you're at some point you were hearing stuff that was crazy far away from you. And they may still have that same problem. And I can't even hit these trees. Maybe these trees aren't the right kind of trees. Maybe they're too small. Must be because I'm able to walk right through them and I can't seem to harvest them with my rock building block. This is a new upgrade that they just made this last week. Um, and the reason it says building block, like I couldn't build my own foundation or I couldn't build anything. I couldn't build, if this was a two-story house, I wouldn't be able to build a foundation to build stairs going up to get inside this house right here. I can't build anything. And that's because inside here, there is this item here. This is a new item. And this is a uh, work cabinet or something uh, that you can actually build. And as long as I can come up and access this this uh, cabinet, I can hit E, I believe, on it. Let's see. Right click, maybe? No. Nope. F. Hold down Use in the men in the to open menu. There we go. Now I got to hold down E. I was just clicking it and it wasn't working. So deauthorize. Remove yourself. Clear authorized list. Deauthorize. So at this point, I think I've authorized myself to use it now just by clicking on it. I didn't actually have to find an authorized button. But now, if you see if I had wood, it says building allowed. So now I can actually build something here. So all somebody has to do is be able to target this item and authorize themselves. So I can, if I hold down E here, now I've deauthorized. You see building blocked immediately show up down in the, down in the right. Now I don't know, this has how much health, I think you can see how much health it has by looking at it. No, nope, I can't. But I'm sure you can break this item down really quick as well. But that's not even necessary, so all somebody needs to do to build is just be able to target that. So make sure that if you're using this to try to deauthorize somebody from building near your house, 
that you don't put it somewhere like in a window or somewhere they would be able to point their cursor at it and just target it. I don't think that you can target it by see I'm just targeting the wall so you can't target it just by looking through a wall. Now if a window was here I'd probably be able to target it and change that. So make sure you're not putting that that item right in front of a window. But you can see the buildings look a lot more like Legacy Rust now. Uh, and the furnace looks like it's changed as well again. Open furnace. Nothing in there. Maybe they've got these boxes where they hold more stuff. No, yeah, they've got the boxes where they hold more stuff, which is nice. It was kind of kind of rinky-dink when they only held like four items before. I don't know if it was only four, but they didn't hold enough. And we are playing on an official server here. This isn't like a private server or anything. Looks weird how we got snow over here on this side of the river, and then on the other side of the river it looks like it's no snow, just plains. Must be colder over here on this side of the river. Now watch when I get out of the snow, my footsteps should change the sound. Yeah, you hear that? That's a nice... That's a nice feature. To have the sound of your footsteps sound like what it should sound like, depending on what you're walking on. That is really cool, I like that. It sounds like I'm walking on wet sand. And look at this little, I mean, that water looks realistic. Like you, a lot of times when you see rivers, you see islands in the middle. You know, kind of like this. Very nice. The water looks really good. Really good. I think the water's even improved over what it was before. Let's see if we can go. Can't really go underwater. I think it's too shallow. Here you can see that somebody's actually upgraded, it looks like. Maybe they haven't. They're only 100 out of 100. I thought maybe they had upgraded those walls, but maybe not. Because, see, that looks a lot different than than that. But they're both only 100 out of 100. Hmm. That's interesting. Another sleeping guy over here. See if we can actually hit him. It told him, tells you his name here. And that never used to be. You couldn't never tell to see the name of... There we go. Ooh, that sounds... See, that sounds right. That sounds disgusting, like I'm smashing his ribs and his organs. Poor guy. Did he drop his loot again? Yep, he did. He dropped his rock, I assume. And I should be able to loot him as well. Ooh, so he had some... So for, again, to grab a different amount, guys, it's just simply on the right-hand side. Actually, any you don't have to go on the right-hand side. It's just the top to the bottom, depending on how much you want to grab. So if I just wanted to grab half of it, I would just go here. If I want to grab all of it, I need to go to the top of that and then drag. Oops. It didn't. There we go. Okay, grab all of this, put it with my other sulfur ore. There we go. Grab his 87 stones. Uh, hmm, I didn't get this sulfur ore for some reason. I don't know what, there it goes. Okay. So, we still need to get some wood. I heard somebody doing something around here somewhere, but, again, I don't know how far away it was. I think the sound is still a little bit glitched. I think you're still hearing things from way too far away. Like I'm hearing somebody work on their house or something like that, and they may be miles away. Now we got a house built up here on a rock. That is kind of cool. There's a wood pile. 
or a little bit of, nope, that's a rock, never mind, I thought it was a wood, wood pile, I need some wood, darn it, this is kind of an interesting formation over here, interesting rock formation, I mean, now there's a guy up on the rock, you can see him over there, under the right, you can see him standing, or is that a tree, no, I think that's a player, I mean, this looks like a little rock wall, pretty interesting random rock there, I like that, now, wet sand again, or sand. This is dry sand rather than wet, though it looks like it. I'm starting to get some trees that look more like palm trees. I don't think I've ever noticed those either. But yeah, look at the palm trees on the beach. Nice. Come here, you. Ah, get up here. Hello, Traxxas 2. And that, and that, and give me some wood, please. All right, look at that mumbled mess. Look at that body. That is freaking weird. His head's all like in his shoulders. I guess I really effed this guy up, huh? All right, and where is his boot? There it is. Ah, he has a stone hatchet. And a ton of stones. Don't need his rock. So what you want to do when you're adding these items to your own inventory is you want to grab them and then when you're targeting trying to put them in a target you want to wait till the block is yellow like that and then it should add them I hear somebody all right so I'm still hearing sounds and it sounds like somebody's nearby but I'm not seeing I'm not seeing anybody nearby near me here Hop down off this rock I don't know if they've added fall damage yet or not. Now here's a nice looking house. Look at these slanted roofs. How did they do that? Look at that. That is cool looking. I've never seen an angled... Oh, that's a ramp they used up there. Okay, that's one of the, uh, the ramps that you would typically use down here. Like right there. That's that ramp used up on top. Very nice design there. Makes it look nice. Okay, now let's see if I can target this uh, wood cabinet from here and authorize myself to build here. As you can see, building block down in the bottom right. From this far away, I cannot access that and authorize it. So let's go ahead and we got a stone hatchet here. Let's go ahead and target that or put that in our heart bar. I mean, use a better tool here. Got little railings around here. I like that. These guys have designed a pretty nice looking house and they've now got bars as well. So metal bars for windows to prevent you from. Be careful about placing. If you build a house like this, be sure you're not placing a wooden box right inside the window. It looks like. Is that guy got wooden boxes? I think that's just the foundation. Make sure you're not placing a wooden box right inside here, right inside the window, because I believe people can still access those boxes and, and loot you. Now I'm seeing players like disappear and appear right over here I don't know if that's a glitch or if somebody's logging in and out now here we go somebody's actually upgraded this fully with stone look at that house yeah look at this guy glitching in and out here I don't know if he's doing that on purpose or if somebody's already hacking if somebody's what's going on here this is interesting I'm not even seeing that guy pound the tree. Look at that. Yakumi. And Yakumi. Yeah, I think this guy's just lagging really bad. Okay. You and your lag are gone, buddy. Sorry. E, do you have anything? I need some wood. That's not much wood, but I'll take what I can get. Alright. Look at this guy just looking straight up in the air. Hey, look at that. They've made the penises a little bigger. No longer are guys quite so short-lived <laughs> in that department. All right. I wonder what decision-making process they had to go through at some point. And so, you know what? We need to work on making the, the male anatomy bigger and rust. Because right now it's too small. I mean, I wonder what kind of place or priority that comes in above everything else that they have to do in a game like this.
kind of funny. And not that I've ever scoped it out that much before, but it does look like they've improved the size a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. I could be wrong. All right. This is cool. Look at this. Now it looks like somebody built a wooden fence all the way around here and got a little... That is cool. Now look at this. Somebody has destroyed this house. And what's happening now is this. So here again is their uh, work cabinet, whatever the item is that it's called that you can uh, keep people from building near you. As you see, I have building blocked here to authorize it. I simply hit E, hold down E for a second, click it, now building allowed. Uh, as to show that again. But one thing you can do now is I can target the foundation. the hell does this wall go down? And what we should see is once I do this here, we might see some of this stuff fall. Actually, this probably isn't the proper wall to do that on. Uh, I don't want to smash down a stone wall. It'll probably take too long. But... What they've got in place now is some kind of a, a gravity weight system, whereas if I was to smash in this wall right here, it has 500 health because you can see the stone, uh, as opposed to this wall here that only has 200 max health. But if I was to smash down this wall here, then what's going to happen is the walls above it, even if this was 10 stories high, uh, they would fall, and all the pieces would just lay on the ground in a big mess. So this is, I think they did this mainly to prevent people from like building, you know, stairways all the way up in the sky uh, with nothing to support them and things like that. They wanted to just try to prevent people from building crazy things and having stuff like this where items were just hanging in the middle of the air. And it doesn't look like it worked. they've got it properly done completely right now because there's obviously not enough gravity or physics. Physics is the word I've been looking for. Uh, the physics for these boxes should cause them to fall. The same thing with that cabinet. And these forges up here should have fallen to the ground. Same thing with this campfire. So they need a little bit more work on their physics, but it looks like they are trying to make the game so that physics uh, take a factor into these buildings and everything falls to the ground once, you know, the floors and walls supporting uh, the items higher up are destroyed, which it should. They obviously don't have that properly... Uh, coded yet, but that is what they're working on. And I think this was just a new patch put in in the past day or two uh, that puts those physics into place, and, and obviously it needs, a little, needs more work. So I'm going to go try to find some wood here, guys. I'll probably be back uh, as soon as I get some wood, and we'll try to go ahead and build a house and destroy it and see how those physics look in action. Animals are not properly uh, working yet. You see that they just stand here while I come up and attack them. So the animals look really nice. See if a bear does the same thing, or if a bear will actually attack me. Because the an the bears and the wolves were attacking players at one point, but not anymore. So I'm assuming we'll have to get the animals working properly again to where they don't just stand here like douchebags. Yep, so I'm sure they'll get those animals with an AI here soon. Hopefully, because right now they're just a little bit too easy. The main challenge now is other players, it looks like. I like all the different rock formations and random rocks like this. 
look at the mountains in the distance, the snow-covered peaks, uh, the rolling hills of grass here. I mean, the game is looking phenomenal. Way better than Legacy Rust ever did. Look at this big old single rock here. Just nice, smooth, roundish rock here. Really, really nice looking graphics for Rust. I'm really impressed by what Face Punch Studios is doing with this new Rust, this Rust 2.0. Somebody's in here with a torch or burning something in here. This guy's probably pretty well equipped. I should probably be in my way. Yeah, I don't want to die and lose all my resources right now. He's probably got a gun or a spear or something better than my stone hatchet. A lot of animals just standing here waiting to be killed. <laughs> look at the trees there, guys. Look at look at the trees, the way the leaves look, the way the different colors uh, in the trees are. I mean, that is getting a little lag here. I'm not liking that. Getting some lag spikes, but I like the way the vegetation looks in this game rocks as well. But I mean, look at that. That's freaking awesome looking. The way they've made this terrain is really, really impressive. I hear a chicken! Now one thing I've never found as well guys is, uh, man I love the trees, look at that. One thing I've never found as well is I have not found, see this looks like the old one by one shacks. It makes me wonder if they're going to start putting um, closed door. I could just completely take this over, couldn't I? I'm lagging a little bit, obviously. There we go. Yep, I could completely take that that door over. That's cool. That little sh shelter there. Just need a furnace so I could burn me some metal fragments so I can make me a lock. Oh, I was going to say one thing I've never uh, found yet in this game is caves. Evidently, their caves are in the game. Uh, I haven't seen one yet. Certainly haven't been in one. Maybe the caves aren't in the game and people are just saying they are, but evidently caves are in the game now. I've seen people in chat talking about them a few times uh, over my several last few a couple of months. The few times I have got on and played for you guys. I'm not playing this game a whole lot. Pretty much the only time I'm playing Rust is when I make a video for YouTube for you guys to watch. Um, I, I don't find that it's complete enough to be playing yet, but it's getting close. It is definitely getting closer to being very playable and being a lot of fun to play. Am I seeing some lights over here? Might want to stay away from that house. It looks like it's pretty well stoned up and probably some guys with some pretty good armor and protection and weapons inside there. There's one of your uh, land points is that stone statue in the back of the wolf. Evidently there's two stone wolves. One's on snow and I think one used to be on like dry land. Now why they went with two wolves and instead of making one you know, a chicken or something, I don't know. But 
that's really the only way you're going to find your friends or find somebody that you want to play with is to say, you know, hey, where are you at? Do you see one of the statues? Whether it be a statue of a, a guy or a wolf or whatever, a bear, whatever the statues are. I don't even know what they all are, but I know I've seen the wolves a few times. And if your buddy says, yeah, I see a stone wolf, you can say, hey, I'm next to one too. We'll meet at the wolf because you might be on different sides of it. And if you're not seeing one of those statues, you can either run a little bit and see if you can see one, or you can simply hit F1 and type slash kill in the console, and it should kill you. And you can respawn in another random location, and hopefully at that point, you'll be near a statue. If you're not, you can continue to rinse and repeat and kill yourself until you spawn near one of these locations or spawn really close to your buddy. Uh... Right now, that's probably the best way to find one of your buddies that you want to play with, is just keep killing yourself and suiciding until you spawn near the location they're at, uh, until you're both near, you know, one of these wolves like this. Look at this, we got cactuses now. I've never seen cactuses in the game. How cool is that? It doesn't look like I can hurt myself on it. That would be actually kind of cool if you were running from a guy in a fight or whatever and ran into a cactus and it actually caused bleeding damage. Not a lot of damage, but just a little bit of bleeding. That would actually be really cool. You have to be careful where you're running. Look how cool this statue looks, though. A lot of radiation near these statues, I can tell you that. Really nice looking statue. Oh, wow, I'm getting a ton of radiation now. And my health is going down, too. You can hear it. It's going off like crazy. I'm probably going to die. Yeah, I'm not going to make it, guys. Radiation is just too crazy over here by this wolf on land, so now you know. Stay the hell away from that statue. Use it as a landmark, but don't, uh, don't get too close to it. Unless you have radiation gear. Too bad water doesn't help you with the radiation somehow. Wow, radiation is still crazy even over here on the other side of the river. I really like how you can't hardly see, too, the radiation in the air. Oh, we finally stopped taking damage, I believe. We got it under 500. I think we stopped taking damage, anyhow. Let's take a look. Maybe I'll actually survive that. And now look at this. I'm completely in the desert. Cactuses and rolling hills of sand everywhere. A completely different biome. So nice. 13, 12, yeah, I'm still taking radiation damage. I don't know if the other Legacy Rust was under 500 to be safe and not take damage anymore. This one might be like 300 or something, I'm not sure. Still taking damage. I'm under 300 now. We'll see if my health is still dropping. So, if you still take damage at 250, 230, you're still taking damage. And you can still see the radiation in the air. I mean, it looks all fuzzy. Okay, under 200 now. Are we still taking radiation damage? Building blocked. 171. Come on, get under 100. I probably have to get that radiation under 100 to stop taking health damage. And if I survive this, I'm going to be one lucky SOB. 112, 104. It looks like you have to, in this one, Legacy Rust was under 500, over 500 radiation would give you damage. But it looks like this new Rust, it looks like, I think I've stopped taking damage. Let's stop here and see. Yeah, it looks like over 100 radiation starts to damage your health. So be careful, guys. 100 radiation will start damaging your health in this game. It's not 500 like Legacy Rust. I'm 
not seeing a whole lot of other players uh, on the server. Surprisingly, on a Saturday afternoon, you would think that there would be a lot of people on. Especially since it's a cold, wintry day outside where I'm at, and I know it's a cold, wintry day across much of the country here. You'd think a lot of people would be indoors on online games such as this. More so than in the summer, I mean. I'm at four health. How lucky was I to survive that? One thing I do like is, you know, you know, you no longer die by going in the water like you did in Legacy Rust. That was pretty freaking lame. Again, just a, a wide assortment of trees. Look at those trees. Love it. Cactuses. Look at these little, these little uh, desert, uh, whatever they are, desert plants. They're they're putting a lot of effort and work and detail into this new Legacy Rust. You can it shows in almost uh, every update they do. But you know, if you really stop and look at the details, the water, the sunset, you know, the terrain, the way the land looks, the footsteps, the way your foot sounds on different types of terrain, the way the trees are, the way the rocks all look completely different in different sizes and formations. They are just putting a lot of effort and work into this new Legacy Rust, and I'd love to see that. It makes me really excited about seeing where they go, and it makes me really just want to cross my fingers and, and hope that, you know, that they don't allow hackers to completely ruin this game like they did Legacy Rust. So it takes about three minutes to go with rock to get that, to get to harvest these rock nodes, these uh, rock and ore nodes. But with a stone hatchet, I mean, it takes like 10 seconds. That might be a little bit of a misbalance there. But. Maybe it shouldn't take quite so long with a rock, or maybe it wouldn't shouldn't be quite so fast with a hatchet. But that is crazy fast to to acquire a whole rock node. Probably need to slow that down a little bit, be my guess. Not that I mind it, not that I mind being able to harvest a whole rock in seven seconds or whatever it's taken, but it just seems a little bit too fast. Now again, these trees are probably going to be too small for me to harvest, I'm guessing. No, nope, not this one. Now why I, was, why I was able to walk through those other trees earlier but now these trees block my my movement and I'm able to harvest them, I have no idea because this tree doesn't look any bigger than the other one. So is it 10 per strike? Is that what it is? Well, it's hard to tell. It doesn't tell me how much I'm getting per strike. 90 wood. You get a lot of wood in a hurry just off these trees so it may still be at this point that just whacking at a tree with a stone hatchet is going to get you wood faster than even a wood pile. And I like the way the trees completely disappear from the world too. I mean look at that, the tree's gone. I harvested the wood and it's gone. How cool is that? Don't see a whole lot of other players around here, so maybe I'll be safe trying to build a house over here since I haven't seen a whole lot of other players. We'll build a house in the desert here and see how that works out for us. I wonder if I can harvest this cactus. Nope. 
I can whack at it. It makes it sound like I'm getting something, but I'm not actually acquiring any kind of material. I don't even know if I can build a house on this steep of a slope, but we'll try it here. We should be able to. All right, let's see. Tool cupboard. That's what we're talking about. Authorizing cupboard will make it so you can build, you can only build within 50 meter, 50 meter radius of it. If you want your friends to build, they'll need authorization. You should protect this. It takes a thousand wood. A code lock. So this is good. They've actually got code locks now, guys. So you can actually uh, put a code in instead of having to, have, having to have the key, which I've never really liked having to have the key. Uh, very cool. Building plan. I know we're going to need that. We need one paper to do that. That is down here, I think. Paper. Okay, 100 wood. Go ahead and queue that up. Low grade fuel. I know I'm going to need that because I'm going to need to build a. Uh, not there. Look at all these different kinds of clothes you can build now. Leather gloves, burlap shirt. How cool. Uh, burlap shoes. What is going on here? Taking. Oh, that's just the sunset. Turned red. I thought I was dying or something. Alright. No, I am dying. I only have four health. I need to probably eat and see if I can improve my health here before somebody just comes and hits me once and I'm dead. Okay, I got my paper done. So. No, it's almost done, I guess. Because I don't see it here in my inventory yet. It's weird how it slows down to a crawl right at the end. I don't want to hit X or that'll cancel it. Come on. Do I have to click it? No. That's really weird how it's taking so long. Because I cannot... Oh, look at that. I mean, you can build a whole kind... You can even scroll down. Snow jacket black. Snow jacket red. Snow jacket wood wood camo camouflage wood jackets 150 cloth how impressive cloth shirt is 100 bucket helmet is 20 cloth and metal frags coffee can helmet hazmat helmet you know these things are freaking awesome look at that mask <sighs> wow it looks like one of the uh, serial killers like in one of the movies I mean it looks like a mask you know like Freddy would wear or something that's cool looking and then just like a metal chest plate with like leather straps and leather straps on the sides to hold it, hold two pieces of metal and on your, on your back and front. That is so cool. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and see. Oh, I didn't want to build a snow jacket. No, 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 I don't want to build a snow jacket. Cancel out of that. Okay, sure. I need to save my cloth for like a sleeping bag. 50 cloth. Let's build that first. Cue that up. I do got my paper finally, so now I just need to build a furnace. Or not a furnace, what am I thinking? can't build a furnace yet, I need to build a, a uh, building plan. There we go. Foundation, it calls it. Four health, wow. Yeah, right, look at that sleeping bag. Right when it gets to the end there, it just pauses for like a whole minute before you're done. That's interesting. I wonder, I don't know if there's anything you can do right now to, to avoid that. A bear trap. Wooden arrows. This is all your ammo here under nails. Pistol bullet. Rifle cartridge. Shotgun cartridge. All your weapons. Hunting bow. Bow knife. Now, I noticed that... Um, it said that if you use a bow knife, uh, this is going to be a lot better to, like, once you kill a deer or whatever, you're going to get a lot more cloth and everything, uh, maybe more meat from using a bow knife as opposed to using, like, a hatchet, and that makes sense. Uh, you have a lot better tools, so it's definitely going to help you get more, uh, more resources from the dead animals and the dead carcasses by using a bow knife. We'll check that out here soon. Stone spear. That's a new pistol. We've never seen that in Legacy Rust. Just a pistol. Look at it. It looks like a. Look how cool it looks. Look at it. it looks like a. Uh, just a tree branch bin or something, and and <laughs> everything just strapped on it. That is awesome looking. I mean, this stuff looks like you know, guns. Like 
you know, that were just kind of makeshift guns made out of the resources available. And same thing with the armor, too. I mean, there's your Thompson gun. 100 wood, 350 metal fragments. It's a lot of metal fragments. And a water pipe shotgun. How cool. Stone hatchet. Salvaged hammer. As opposed to a hammer. Now, it used to be that the hammer was a lot better than the salvaged hammer. I don't know if they've balanced those out yet or not. Pickaxe. Salvaged axe. Look how cool that looks. Useful for harvesting resources. And a salvaged ice pick. Huh. They're making some cool looking, cool looking stuff. Okay. So we got our foundation almost. Go ahead and put our sleeping bag down here and... Okay, let's go ahead and hide our sleeping bag over here somewhere, maybe, in case somebody comes up and kills us. Six. Can I put it here anywhere? Maybe it has to be inside of a house, I'm not sure. Nope, I can put it right here. There we go. Now, can I still pick it up? May not be able to. E. Yep, it doesn't look like I can pick it up like it used to in Legacy Rust. Clicking E everywhere, and but I will respawn at this point. Now it can be destroyed pretty easily, I'm sure, but at least I'll have a respawn point there in case I get killed over here. Kind of like being able to pick it up, so you know, once I build a house, I can move my sleeping bag into my house. Okay, plus one foundation. I finally get my foundation, so we'll put that in here in six. And see how this works now. See, notice, I don't think it's going to build a wooden framework like it did before that I have to pound into place. We'll see. All right. There we go. So look at that. That's the whole foundation. It's already built. So I no longer have to pound it into place with a hammer. So I don't even know what a hammer is used for now, to be honest with you. And, and so you can build items on the side of the hill like this. It's just going to be slanted. That's pretty similar to the way Legacy Rust worked as well, I believe. Can I, it doesn't show it just green, so I don't think I can place that there. Yeah, it's too, too much of a slant. Okay. Now, I don't know if I can build a ramp or something there, but you'd have to turn a ramp, obviously, like upside down to be able to do that. So, we're just going to go ahead and see how these pillars and stuff work. I should be able to just right click once I got my foundation, my build plan selected there like I do. Right click. Now look at this. This is the new way to actually pick what you want. A floor triangle. A foundation. Foundation steps. A foundation triangle. A triangular foundation. A pillar. Stairs. A wall plan. A doorway plan. A wooden door plan. Okay. A railing plan. Window plan metal bars, a block, a big block. Interesting, that's that we've never had anything like that. And a floor plan. Okay, so let's go ahead and get us some pillars. A pillar, duh. <laughs> Alright, so... I heard somebody, and I, again, I don't know how far away they are. I don't see anybody, but somebody is somewhere around me. Again, I have my foundation selected. I don't know why, because I selected a pillar, I thought. There we go. You just have to left click it, I guess. But see, no longer do I have to build this into place. So a hammer is still going to be used because you're going to need a hammer to um, to upgrade your your walls and everything. So we'll just make a two by one for right now because if I tried to make it that way, it wouldn't go in because it's it'd go into the into the mountainside. So. Let's go ahead and try to build some walls here. Let's see how we're doing on wood. I know I collected quite a few trees. E for, come on. Where's my inventory? Oh, tab for inventory, duh. Okay. Uh, 4750 wood. We have a lot of wood. Right click. Let's get some walls in here. Oops. You got to left click. Choose what you want and then just left click on it. Okay. We should have a wall now. And there's a wall. 
am. Minus 300 wood for one wall. So building a house takes a lot more resources than it ever did before, guys. And you know what? I think I'm going to build me a wall with a window here just so I can look out and see the ocean. How cool is that, right? Oh, that's a doorway. I don't want that. Uh, right there. There we go. All right. I guess I'll also build a window over here. And then here I need to build a doorway. I just want to see how quick this is to get up a house now. Just a basic house without having to upgrade it. And this is kind of nice because this is going to allow you to build a, a house, you know, just to get it, get your house, your basic house in place without having to sit there and pound on the walls for, you know, 20 minutes. It's going to get it up quicker. And then if you need to pound and, and upgrade everything, you can do that. So now I guess I'm going to need, there is no ceilings, but I guess it's the floor plan. Standard floor. Uh, see if that can... Yep, so that's going to be my floor plan, and that'll be the ceiling as well. You know, floor plan for the top. But now let's go ahead and get us a door in here. Wood door plan. I think I selected it. There we go. You heard a little beep. All right. So now we got our door. I thought we did. What's going on here? It's getting so dark I can't even tell what's going on. Oh, okay. Oh, it's. I still see the highlight of the door plan because I have it selected. Okay, I see what's going on. Uh... Now, one thing I want to see is if I can crawl out of this window. If I hold control. I don't know. Okay. Let's go one. So I can see that door messing with my head there. Open door, E. I want to see if I can crawl in this window. I'm curious. I don't see that I can crawl in. That's kind of cool, but I should still be able to select things and and uh, like boxes and stuff through there, so somebody can loot your stuff through a window. So be careful with that. I'm assuming people can still loot stuff through your window. A little bit of lag here on closing and opening the door and things like that. All right, so let's go ahead and get us a foundation to do that. We need to go ahead and get some low-grade fuel. And how many low-grade fuels do I need? Furnace requires 10 low-grade fuels. I have 10 already, okay. So... I have everything I need to build a furnace. Go ahead and get that going. Go ahead and queue up a campfire as well. Takes a little bit of lag, a little bit of... It's not super responsive, so a little bit of delays here on selecting this stuff and and everything. And I remember, I can't lock my door or anything, guys. You have to uh, knock. You can knock on somebody's door. Knock to see if anyone's home. How cool is that? That's new. So you can knock on somebody's door now. Instead of just banging on it with a rock, that's a more polite way to say, hey, can I come in, I guess, if you don't have voice or whatever. Look at that. I'm looking out my window. I'm glad I built the window because I can see the moon go down over the horizon. Look at the reflection of the moon in the water. The reflection meets the moon, and they disappear together. How cool. All right. Come on, furnace is almost done. Again, we got that delay right at the end. I don't know why. I'm speeding this up a little bit, guys, but as you can see, it's been like a minute or two, and my furnace is still not complete yet. It's been right at the end of the construction and just hung there forever. Um, looks like something they need to fix. I mean, it shouldn't have to wait five minutes or longer for a furnace to be crafted.
can already see people waiting five minutes for a campfire to finish like that and dying of hunger while they wait for this excessive delay at the very end of the crafting process. And I don't know if this is lag or if it's, you know, what's causing that. If they want, if they want a furnace to be crafted really slow, then rather than just putting in a long delay at the end, they should make the progress of the crafting bar uh, move slower, not just put in a huge long delay at the end. I don't think that's what they're doing. I don't think they're trying to make a furnace take this long. I can't see why they would want it to take this long, but it's kind of annoying to see. And again, why, I don't know why I have the moon. Daylight hasn't been here yet, and now I see the moon going over the horizon again. Not that I mind seeing the moon. Finally, my furnace is done, but I continue to see the moon go down over the ocean like many, many times in one night. That is kind of weird. So that, I would think, needs to be fixed unless they're doing that on purpose just so people see the moon. But I've already seen it twice now on the same night. Uh, and I haven't even really been watching. All right, so let's go ahead and get our furnace going here. 3, bam. Okay. I need to get some stuff so I can lock my door. And I hear somebody. I thought I heard some footsteps. Maybe it was my own, I don't know. Might as well go ahead and put all my ore in here. Or almost all of it. Put all my sulfur ore in there too. Come on. There we go, it's good enough. Go ahead and ignite it now. Getting some lag here. I'm not getting a menu option for this. It's kind of... Now I like it before how it said open furnace and now ignite furnace is my option. Um, and if I wanted to open it, I'd have that menu. I just hold down E to, do, to go here. So that's pretty cool. And then just left click. And a few seconds later, you should have a lit furnace. Now I'm going to be glowing like crazy. Let's go ahead and watch this stuff, though. Uh, open furnace. See how much wood is being used. Yeah, before when you cooked your metal, it was burning your wood like crazy, like super fast. They've slowed down how fast wood burns now. And you got to be careful. You don't have as many slots in a furnace as in Legacy Rust where you had, like, I think three more than this, maybe. I think you had nine slots, if I remember right. Here you only have six, so if you put in one pile of wood, one pile of metal, and one pile of sulfur, uh, you're not going to have any more room, so you're going to have to get your frag fragments out. But of course you have a lot bigger piles than I think you could have before. In Legacy Rust, I think you could have a maximum pile of 250 fragments, and I'm guessing you could probably have 9,000 fragments now. So maybe that's why there's not more slots here, because everything's just going to go in one large pile, rather than, you know, Legacy Rust you had... You know, people with backpacks like this meat, you know, full of 250 piles of metal fragments, just tons of, you know, resources where now it's just all one big pile. So that is cool. Let's go ahead and get our campfire down. It's still not done yet, though. I mean, we got that long delay at the end again. So it takes like, seriously, guys, I think it's taken like a total of like three or four minutes just to build a campfire. So be careful with that if you're playing right now until they get that fixed the lag at the end, the delay, I don't know if it's lag, but a long delay at the end of crafting everything. Except for the walls. You know, the walls and the materials for the house wasn't taking a long time, but the parts, I mean, the things like your furnace and, uh, you know, different items that you craft seem to be taking. My sleeping bag had the same thing, where I had a long delay right here. Okay. Comes with 50 wood, so that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and put in... Nope, I don't want to put in too much wood because then you can burn your meat up, so be careful about that too, guys. And I want to see if it's still 60 wood to cook it perfectly. So let's go ahead and try to get 10 wood here. No, I had 13. That's close enough. All right. So... 
can still only cook. Now to get to drop this stuff in or to drop it on a pile, you just want to look for that little yellow. See the yellow in the background? That means you're going to drop it there. It goes away for a second. We still have that kind of delay here. Now we just need to ignite it. And 60 wood, I believe, is still going to cook that stuff perfectly. We'll see if that's right. Ignite fire, left click. I need to get a lock going before somebody comes and messes me up. All right. Of course, they're still going to be able to mess me up by shooting me through a window or spearing me through my window, probably. All right. Why can I not? Oh, I, remember, guys, I'm sitting there trying to get my metal fragments out of my furnace, and the reason I can't is because my furnace is burning. Metal fragments, look at it this way, the metal fragments are too hot for me to handle. So I've got to um, extinguish the furnace like that, and then open the furnace, and then I can grab the metal fragments out of there. Not able to drag stuff out of your furnace while it's burning. So let's see, now I can get it. Now I just want to go ahead and reignite my furnace here. Get it burning again, and that makes sense. I like that. Okay, so now let's go back to our crafting option here. And let's make, what did we need to make a code lock? That's what I really want, rather than the key lock. I don't even know if a key lock is an option anymore. Code lock, no, here's your lock with a key, 10 metal fragments. 50 metal fragments and 500 wood to build a code lock. Wow. That's what I really want. That's probably what I ought to wait for. I haven't seen any other players around here. I want to see how this works as well. We know how the key key lock works, and it really sucks because then you have a key on you that somebody can loot off of you or you can lose, and then you're pretty much stuck out of your house. Uh, code lock is the way to go. Uh, I can't see why you wouldn't want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and try to wait out the time until I get enough resources to make my code lock and test that out as well give you the four digit code like in Legacy Rust. Let's see how our campfire is doing here. 48. Wow, it's taking forever to cook this meat. They slowed down the, the burn progress of the wood in the furnace, which makes sense, but it should not take this long to cook some some meat here. I mean, it's only fit, used 14 wood in like three minutes. So this means right now it's going to take like 10 minutes to cook some meat. 10 minutes, maybe longer, of real-time game. I mean, of real-time uh, to cook some meat. That's way too long. They definitely need to speed up this cooking process in a campfire. That is crazy too long. If you're dying of hunger and you get a campfire, you know, made, it shouldn't take 10, 15 minutes of real-time to cook some meat. That just seems way too long to me. I mean, I guess what's fair for one person is fair for everybody. But that just seems a little bit excessive. I can understand metal fragments cooking, you know, cooking slower, but meat should cook a lot faster. All right, guys, I've uh, slowed this down for another three minutes. Um, so three minutes later, we're going to go ahead and look at our meat and see see where it's at. 31. So in about seven minutes, we've only got our meat like halfway cooked. Still got raw meat. Um, that's crazy. I like a lot of the stuff they're doing. I like the sound of the logs. Sounded like they're burning. I like this new radial dial. Um, you know, on these different options when you uh, select six and you select one of these parts. I like right clicking and being able to see this huge radial dial for what you want to build. Super cool. So they are coming a lot, you know, a long ways. It seems like every week in in making this game better. But it's these little glitches like this, you know, meat taking 15 minutes to cook that makes you want to pull your hair out. But it's not done yet. I mean, it's still still a work in progress. So if you play before it's completed, you're going to have those little annoying things where you're like, what the heck are they doing? They're they're it's like but it's like they're they're doing so well on improving some parts of the game. But then the little minor some of these little minor details, you're like, what the hell are you thinking? You know, why are you making it so it takes 15 minutes to cook some meat? 
I'm starving to death, you know? Alright, so we, we have plenty of, of wood and stone. Let's go ahead and make a hammer here. Go ahead and craft a hammer up. It's 100 wood. That campfire does sound really cool. I mean, the flames sound really realistic. You hear the flames popping. You hear the the, the wood falling and burning. Um, it almost sounds like the wind kind of blowing through the, the flames there. Really, really realistic looking camp sounding campfire. Let's see if we have our 50 metal fragments yet. We have 12 there. We only have 19 metal fragments. Metal fragments are cooking way too slow as well, in my opinion. Um, it shouldn't be taking this long to, to cook meat and metal fragments. I can understand metal fragments taking longer than meat, but there's no way in hell that meat should take 15 to 20 minutes to cook. Kind of disappointed with that. And it's those little things like that that make me, you know, that make me not ready to play this game so much. You know, I want to wait till it's more done until they get these little things uh, that drive me insane and make me want to pull my hair out. Uh, completed. And before when I played, you know, it was the the people able to glitch through the walls. You sit there and build a really nice base and upgrade your walls all the way to stone. I mean, all the way to metal uh, protection. You spend all that time, and it took forever to pound pound all that, uh, you know, all those upgrades into every wall and every floor and every ceiling. And then you had guys glitching in, you know, in 30 seconds. They're just glitching into your house and killing you or taking all your stuff. To spend an hour building a house and then have some douchebag come up and glitch into your house in 20 seconds was another one of those real small things that made you want to pull your hair out. So until they get this game, no matter how good it is, until they get all those little little things ironed out that make you want to pull your hair out, the game's really not going to be worth playing, at least to me. Uh, I finally got my cooked meat, and I have one wood left. Okay, so finally we get our wood cooked. And again, it looks like it's 60 wood, guys, to cook cook your meat fully without burning it. So, now I can actually eat. Oops. Right-click on it. Eat wolf meat. Wolf meat does 135. Let's see here. 134, 214, so it does 80. Gives you 80 health. And I know that's a lot better than human meat. I think human meat that you harvest off like a, you know, if you cut up a, a human, a, a player, uh, I think it's only like 40 health the last time I checked. So we got our hammer now. Let's go ahead and put in some more meat here. See if I can grab close to 60 here, how hard that is. Again, if you can't, if it's really hard to get 60, guys, one thing you can do is just go ahead and try to grab like 93 or whatever. Grab a smaller pile, move it to another block. Now see I have a lot small, smaller pile than the 1,000 plus. Now it should be a lot easier to grab exactly 60. See how easy that was? So if you got a huge pile of wood and you just want to get 60 so you don't waste wood and so you don't, you know, burn your meat or whatever, just take a smaller pile off that huge pile, you know, like 80 or 100 wood and put it in another pile. And that's going to make it easier for you to... To, uh, to get just what you want, to be more precise. Now, see, I, I, I can take this, you, you can easily take this 33 here. Well, I'm waiting on everything else. i got to wait so long anyway and move that right back up into my big pile. So now I have exactly 60 wood. I'm being very efficient with my, my burning here. I'm not going to burn my meat. And uh, I'm not wasting wood. Twenty-eight, so we got thirty metal fragments now. Let's go ahead and build another bedroll here while I'm thinking about it. Sleeping bag. Get that queued up down here. In case somebody comes in here and kills me. And I mean even if I get a lock on this door, I built these windows, so I mean somebody could probably take a spear or definitely a rifle and kick my ass. So 
it's finally starting to turn daylight. It has been a long night. I think that was like a 20 or 30 minute night there. It was a long night for sure. Just kind of watch this. Yeah, see how slow this wood's burning? I mean, we got we to gotta burn 60 wood to cook our meat. And that is just going way too slow. They can make the wood burn this slow if they want to. That's fine. But it should only take, like, maybe 10 wood to, to cook your meat then. If, you know, I can understand them make, making the wood not want to burn so, so fast. But then reduce the amount of wood, face punch. Face punch needs to reduce the amount of wood it takes to cook the meat. And that would work fine, too, as well. I mean, there's one more, more than one solution to the problem. Let's go ahead and try to upgrade this door now and see... I want to watch our our wood here and see how much wood it's using to upgrade and also how many stones it's using. So let's do that. Okay. I'm not seeing that I'm upgrading anything right now. I'm not using any wood. Hmm. Maybe we gotta select some here. Rotate. I can demolish it. Wooden wall. Stone wall. Oh, okay. So I don't. The hammer is not used for anything now, guys. Um, I can no longer upgrade the walls of my house with a hammer. It looks like I simply right click it and choose stone wall. Okay, interesting. So stone wall, left click. It just immediately uses stone to upgrade it to a stone wall just like that. And oh, okay, you see it upgrading over time. Look at that. 147, 150. And is it using my stones? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It doesn't look like it's using any stones, which is weird. Let's just go ahead and Stone wall. Stone wall. Why can't I choose stone wall there? Okay, I got that one stone. Why link broken? Nope, I don't want to rotate that. Damn it. I don't know why I can't change that one to a stone wall. Maybe I don't have enough stone left? I should. Maybe you can only upgrade so many walls at a time. This one's upgrading, this one's upgrading. Can I upgrade the ceiling? Wooden floor, demolish. Hmm, okay, I can't upgrade the wooden floor. Not even an option in the rotating menu. I can't do this one either, so I'm guessing that maybe I can only upgrade two walls at a time. We'll find out. Okay, again, extinguish your furnace before trying to get anything out of it, guys. Open, and then, there we go, should have enough to build that code thing now, code lock, 500 wood, I no longer have 500 wood, where do my wood go? Uh, oh, I used my wood to upgrade my walls, it looks like, to stone, okay, so to get them to that first level of, of stone, now if I... Stone wall. Okay. It looks like it used a lot of my wood to upgrade to upgrade those walls. So I wait a minute. I have 278 wood there. Okay. I want to get a lock on here, so I'm going to go ahead and open my furnace. I'm going to steal some wood from my furnace. I'm going to drag this wood up here. Hard to see how much you're getting when you're taking it off the hot bar. Okay, so now I should be able to build my code lock. Yes. And it's being made again. Okay. Campfire is still cooking meat like 10 minutes later. Crazy, crazy.
gonna go ahead and guess I'm gonna go ahead and go out while I'm crafting this and try to get some more wood. But they may not respawn in exactly the same point, I just don't know. You know, they may respawn randomly over the desert. So I just don't know. I think it is really cool though that they do, um, they do disappear. Okay, notice by using those 60 wood, that my campfire grenade goes out instead of burning my meat. So that's one reason you want to do that, guys. All my meat wood's gone, and my meat is perfectly cooked without being burned. Now, I lost one of my meat somehow. I don't think I ate it. Unless it's just really, really lagging here. Okay, I got another sleeping bag here. Yeah. Oh, there it is. My other meats just repopped back up there. A little bit too laggy to, to really play this game right now, in my opinion. Four. Put this maybe... I don't want it where it can be destroyed, like, through the window. Where it can be targeted through the window. Wow, really hard to get my bedroll in here anywhere. That's weird. Now, I wonder if it's because I have the other bedroll over there that I can't place the second bedroll. There we go. No, I got it. Okay. I was going to say, maybe you can't have two bedrolls anymore. I saw it turn green for a second. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just put it right there, and hopefully nobody can blow it up from from the window. So I guess the next thing I need to do is, okay, let's see. I've got two walls made stone. Let's see if I can actually upgrade this wall now. Okay, so I can't, I can't right-click on the wall to upgrade it unless I have the hammer. So I, that's what I need the hammer for. you got to have the hammer equipped, and then you right-click and then build it into a stone wall, which right now happens immediately, it looks like. Yep, see that? So I'm guessing that this is upgrading. You can only upgrade two walls at a time. You can't upgrade every single house, every single wall and ceiling, everything. Let's go ahead and just for the curiosity, let's go ahead and wooden floor. Can't do the floor yet. Can I upgrade the make stone, make this foundation start stone? There we go. And again, we're going to be limited to two probably. Or no, it's just because I didn't have enough wood. That's what it was. So I wasn't able to upgrade every wall because I didn't have enough wood. <laughs> ah. See, that's what I knew was going to happen there. Somebody... Ah. This is another thing I want to see, guys, is like... You know, after you die, I would love to be able to see... Have the... Uh, have the camera state where you died so you can see who it was that killed you. So you can kind of see what, how they killed you. Or you can see what they're doing. So... Go ahead and respawn the sleeping bag here, and I died immediately as soon as I spawned. What the heck? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Let's see if I can get revenge. I doubt it, but we're going to try. Oh, all I got is a rock. Yeah, that's right. Guys, all decked out. You see, at least who killed me. Got again. It was. Couldn't see who it was. I just keep respawning at the same sleeping bag. That's funny.
Look at this guy all decked out. Wow, he got me from way back there. I think that was a little bit of lag there. He's going to be killing my sleeping bag here soon. All right, guys, so it looks like here, um, it looks like the game has crashed trying to respawn, so I don't know what happened here. But as you can see from what I've demonstrated here, Rust is coming along really nice. The graphics are really, really nice. They've got a lot of detail in the game. Uh, they're paying attention to the detail. They're trying to make the buildings right. They're trying to, you know, make it better all the time. They're still not where they need to be uh, to make this a full of old, you know, really enjoyable, fun game. You can still have a lot of fun in it, but there's still those little those little quirks, you know, like like meat taking 15 minutes to cook and stuff like that. But as you've seen, the guy that killed me, you know, he was completely decked out in full armor and everything like that. So it can be done. Um, still a lot of fun. It's just, you know, if you're gonna ha you're gonna have those little bugs, those little quirks that that aren't perfect yet uh, with Rust. But every time I play this, every two or three weeks, and I make one other one of these videos, uh, you know, it's it's getting closer and closer to to looking like a really really good uh, complete Rust and a way better than Legacy Rust ever was. So I give him credit for that. Uh, at this point, my main gripes are things taking too long to cook, um, and then you got your delay when you craft anything. You got like a two or three minute delay before it actually goes to your inventory. That's a little nerve wracking. And the other big thing that that really gets on my nerves uh, right now is of the lag. So you still got a lot of lag in the game, uh, and you know that can be game breaking at this point. Uh, you know, when you're getting those lag spikes and, you know, you're seeing blur and stuff like that while trying to play the game. And I mean, I, I went into a server that had like 45 ping, so it looked like I had a good connection and I was just getting really, really big lag spikes. So anyway, that's been my playthrough of Rust for Rust development build, build number 11 uh, is this video. Be sure you leave your comments below. Be sure you give me a thumbs up if you like this video, if this has kind of helped you see where the progress of Rust is going along. Be sure you subscribe to me if you're not subscribed to me so you get all my future videos, not only on Rust, but other video games and other videos that I make. I make all kinds of random videos uh, about all kinds of different things. So thanks so much for watching. Thanks for your time. Uh, be sure you leave those comments below and be sure you give me your thumbs up uh, as well if you like the video. It helps me out a lot. Take care, everybody. Happy holidays.